Thank you for tuning in to this week's Oregon Minute. Today we have the new lieutenant of the Oregon Police Department, Chad Shubb. How are you? Good. How are you today? Good. Good. Um, so how long have you been with the police department now? I've actually been an officer in Oregon since I graduated from UW-Platteville in 2007. So really? I started in October of 2007 and I've been an officer here ever since. Oh, wow. So tell me how you rose sort of through the ranks since 2007. Oh boy, you're asking me to go back a while. Um, I was actually a second shift patrol officer for the first five years of my career. Um, I worked out on the road, um, second shift, 2 p.m. to 10 p.m., learned a lot. Uh, and then after that, I was assigned to the uh, detective position for a couple of years. Um, I was a detective for a couple of years, and then from there, I was promoted to detective sergeant in 2015. And then from 2015 until currently, uh, as about five weeks ago, I was the detective sergeant. And then five weeks ago, I was lucky enough to get the promotion and be in the position I'm in now. So tell me how you've settled into your new position as lieutenant. It's, it's been a little different. Um, I actually went from, you know, the biggest change for me has been wearing a uniform every day. Um, I went from wearing plain clothes like you guys, and now I wear a uniform every single day. But um, it's been different activities that, we've, that I've had to learn to do. Um, I've been fortunate enough to work for the current chief now, Jennifer Pagenkoff. Um, she was the lieutenant before me, so I've got an excellent tutelage from her, and she's helping me adjust to my new role, and I'm, I'm really excited. It's a, it's a big challenge, but I'm ready for that challenge, and I'm excited, I'm excited for it going forward. So tell me a little bit about how your duties have changed. Like, what did you do as detective sergeant, and how has that changed going into your lieutenant position? It's actually quite different. I didn't think it was going to be as big of a change as it was, but um, as a detective sergeant, um, I was just mainly overseeing myself and the detective and, you know, the major investigations that we were working on here in Oregon. Um, now as a lieutenant, it's changed quite a bit. You know, I oversee a lot more of the staff, um, the patrol sergeants, the investigations unit, and the patrol officers. So it's been a little bit different. Like I said, it's, it's been a challenge, but I'm excited for it. Um, I'm adjusting nicely, and I think everything's going real great. I'm really, really excited. Our department is doing some really great things right now. Um, like I said, we hired a new chief. We got a new lieutenant. We just promoted somebody to fill my, my previous position as detective sergeant, and we have a lot of good things going for our department right now. We have a lot of really positive young officers who are you know, making a real big impact in the community. So I'm really excited about that. Mm -hmm. So how has it impacted you being promoted during COVID-19 and the resulting yeah. economic fallout from that? COVID-19 has affected everybody's life. There's, there's no doubt about it. Um, I have been fortunate enough, unlike a lot of people where they did, um, where they were laid off, I was fortunate enough that I wasn't laid off and I, had, I came to work every single day, just like every one of our officers. Even through COVID, we were here doing whatever we could to help and serve the, the citizens of the community. So it was different. Um, when I got sworn in as detective sergeant, there was a big ceremony at Village Hall and you know, that's just different. And now it was just a Zoom meeting, so it's something small. but. Um, it, it's, it's been different, but like everybody else, we've all had to adjust to COVID-19 and I'm doing the best I can with it. Mm -hmm. So as the new lieutenant, I mean, and speaking of COVID-19 and the economic, and the recession mm -hmm. and obviously all the everything else that's going on right now, the, 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 racial, the racial tensions across the country, um, just the overall social justice crisis that we're in, mm -hmm. in addition to all the crises that we're in. Sure. Um, you know, what are, what are your goals for the department, you know, as the new lieutenant? Right. Like, what are your goals maybe within the next five years or so? Um, well, I think as a department, we've actually set very lofty goals for ourselves, not just for me, but for as a department in, in general. Um, it's always been our goal to, you know, serve the community to the best of our ability, and we want to have that relationship with the community. Um, COVID has changed a lot, and obviously there's been a lot of things that have changed throughout the world, like you said, with some racial tensions that have happened, and we want to show, that every, cit to show every citizen of our community that we're here to help you in any way that we can. We're not just here to answer all kinds of police calls. We want to go out and we want to be part of our community as much as we can. Unfortunately, with COVID right now, we can't go out and interact with people as much as we'd like to. But, you know, one of our major goals, and I know that uh, the chief has set this, is we want to be a proactive agency to be out with our community and out showing them that everybody in our community matters. And we want to show them that it doesn't matter who you are, we are here to help you and we want to be, um, be the best we can for you and the best we can for the community in general. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so can you elaborate a little bit more about um, your your day to day as the new lieutenant? Like how sure. how has how have your day to day how's sure. that changed from when you were detective sergeant to yeah. now being the lieutenant? When I was a detective sergeant, my day mainly consisted of working on um, cases that were I was investigating. Um, whether that be a small fraud case or a more serious case, you know. Unfortunately, in this community, we live in a very great community, but we do have serious cases that, you know, we, we do investigate. So as detective sergeant, I spent most of my time doing that, investigating cases. And then I also had some other small administrative duties, um, like court paperwork and some other things that I did. But now as a lieutenant, my day has kind of changed immensely. Um, coming into work now, it's a lot different. I, I have to make sure that, uh, the patrol officers and the sergeants, they have all the resources that they need to make sure that they're providing the best service to the community. So for me, it's you know working with the officers, the sergeants, the uh, detectives, and whoever that they need, whoever in the department to make sure that they have the, the resources that they need. So I didn't realize until I got into this position how much work actually goes into it. Um, it's kind of more of a behind the scenes um, position where it's running the more of the day-to-day -day operations. I'm not probably seen out in the community as much as I would like to be, but um, I just want to make sure that our officers who are out there have the resources that they need and that they're making sure they have the best information that they have. Um, it's just a lot of communicating and doing things like this is great. I like to be able to talk to the public and I like to be able to tell everybody that we're here. COVID's not going to slow us down. You know, If you can call, we're still going to be here every single day and we'll come and answer whatever call that we need. So. Being a lieutenant is kind of, that's kind of about some events, some of my new duties is making sure that the other officers that are, you know, I supervise now have what they need to make sure that they have the best service available. Mm -hmm. I want to elaborate a little bit more on the goals sure. for, um, for a quick second, just because I'm sure community perception about mm -hmm. law enforcement in general has been influenced by, we have, what happened to George Floyd in mm -hmm. May in May and now we have what happened to Jacob Blake mm -hmm. a couple of weeks ago. What are your goals to help um, ensure that you know community sep perceptions about law enforcement, mm -hmm. especially in law in yeah. the Oregon community? Yeah. Um, how do you intend to influence that or or yeah. to or shift it more to a positive I think overall we've been very fortunate in this community and we've actually gained a lot of, I don't think we've lost a lot of community trust in this community. Um, I, from the interactions we've had with the citizens of our community, they've been very supportive of us and, and we really appreciate that and we want to make sure that we, we gain that support and we gain that trust of not most of our citizens but all of our citizens. And obviously there are probably some citizens right now that don't have the 100% trust in everything in us right now, and we want to work towards that. Um, I know that our chief is going to be addressing a lot of these issues at the upcoming board meeting that's coming up on Monday night, so I don't want to steal too much of her thunder on that, but uh, overall, just the working with these people and listening. You know, a lot of people, they just want to be listened. They want to be heard. Um, they want to have their chance to at least talk about things. So taking time to sit down and listen to these people and talk to people and have an honest conversation with people um, there's a lot of things that people just don't want to hear right now, but one thing that I am a firm believer in and I know that our chief and our department is, is um, having those conversations. They're not always easy, but that's what we're here for. We'll have those conversations, we'll listen, and we'll do the best we can. I'm not saying we can change everything. I'm not saying we're going to be able to change the world, but we're going to do everything we can to make sure that we have the best service and we're helping the citizens of this community the best we can. Is there anything else that you would like to add to that? Not really. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm excited for my new role. Um, I'm excited for our department. I'm very, I'm very, pro I'm very excited to see where the next five years is going to take us. Um, like I said, I've been an officer here in Oregon now for 13 years, and I've had some good times and we've had some tough times here in Oregon. And I actually think that right now, the next five years is going to be brighter than any five years that I've had in the past. So with our new young officers coming in. Um, we're hiring new officers right now to come in and be part of our community. So I'm just very excited to be in my new role and uh, for the department and for our community in general. Well, thank you for coming on today. Thank you for having me, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching this week's Oregon Minute. Tune in every Thursday at 7 p.m.